Like most languages, Haskell allows us to define our own types. In this video, we'll define some types and functions for playing cards. Here's the definition of the rank type. A rank is simply one of the values ace through king. The deriving part makes the rank type an instance of several type classes. Since rank is an instance of eek, we can check two ranks for equality. Because of ORD, we can compare ranks. Bounded gives us minimum and maximum values. Min bound colon colon rank gives us the value of min bound when min bound is of type rank. Enum lets us make ranges of ranks. Show is necessary for Haskell to be able to print a rank. Read allows us to read a rank from a string, although we have to specify a type. Suit is defined similarly, but we left off some of the type classes because suits aren't comparable the way that ranks are. The card data type is defined slightly differently. To create a card, we have to specify a rank in a suit. Perhaps confusingly, the word card is used for two different things in the definition. Here it's the name of the type, but here it's the name of a value constructor, which takes two arguments. The names do not necessarily match, and as shown in the chapter, a type might have more than one constructor. Yet another way to define a type is with a synonym. This says that a hand is just a list of cards. If we want the whole deck, we can use a list comprehension. To play with our type and get more practice with higher order functions, let's define functions to detect the different kinds of poker hands. We'll start with a couple of utility functions. All pairs applies a function f to each consecutive pair of elements and returns true if f always returns true. For example, all pairs less than 1, 2, 3, 4 verifies that 1 is less than 2, 2 is less than 3, and 3 is less than 4. Do you notice anything missing from the definition of all pairs? The type signature. While writing type signatures is a good idea, and I certainly did it when I was writing these functions, we can leave them off. Haskell is able to infer the types. You might try figuring out what the type of all pairs is. Set count is, if I do say so myself, dreadfully clever. Its job is to tell if a sorted hand has n sets of same ranked cards, with each set containing at most k cards. To understand it, notice that it is a let expression which first defines the local variable sets, then makes an assertion about sets. The definition of sets uses group by, which is in the data.list module. Group by takes an equality function and a list, and returns a list of lists of equal elements. If you just want to use double equals for your equality function, you can use group. Our function doesn't want to know if the cards are actually equal, just if they have the same rank. For this, we've used a lambda expression. Now that we have the sets, we just verify that there are n sets, and that the maximum length of any set is k. Map was handy here. With those two functions out of the way, defining the poker hands is almost laughably simple. If a five-card hand has one pair, there will be four different ranks represented, with one of them appearing twice. Do you see the partial application of set count? Two pair and three of a kind each have three different ranks, but the maximum size of a set is different. Straight and flush use all pairs. Straight requires that the first rank be the predecessor of the second rank, and so on. We get the function pred for free because rank is an instance of enum. Notice how we're pattern matching on the constructor card here? In fact, pattern matching only works on constructors. Flush requires that every pair of consecutive cards have the same suit. 
Full house and four of a kind use set count again. Finally, a hand is a straight flush if it's a straight and a flush.